Welcome to another edition of the Nightly Nuge. I don't know about you, Ted, but I've got plenty of food on my shelves. But, uh, you know, that's not true all over the country. We've had all kinds of things going on. I've been reading about fires and fruit food processing plants, and I'm not talking about one, two or ten, Ted. I'm talking about a ton of these unexplained fires in these food processing plants um, that's leading to some significant shortages. What's your take on all that? Well, my take on it is that uh, more food processing plants in 2022, more dairy farms, more poultry farms, more pork farms, more beef farms have been destroyed in 2022 than in the last 25 years total. They don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to see a trend, to see a, a, an aggressive attempt to bring the American citizens to their knees. And if you defund the police and you start adding on more gun control laws because they're not enforcing thousands of gun control laws, but they think the criminals might obey the 10,000th gun control law, except the DAs aren't prosecuting them. Meanwhile, the, the, the middle ground of America, the good families of America are being disarmed and it's being impossible to find baby formula and food on the shelves. This is not a conspiracy theory. The evidence is ubiquitous and heartbreaking. So once again, my friends, you've got to raise hell. You've got to let your elected employees know that you see what's going on here and demand accountability. And don't just make a call to your mayor, your senator, your congressman, your governor. Call them and say, I'm going to call back in four days. I would like an update why 10 million chickens died last weekend because right. I'd like some cordon blue. Meanwhile, I'm going to emphasize this, Keith, as a lifetime hunter's, I've got it. My freezer is full of the most organic, pure, most nutritious and delicious food on the planet. Wild game. And here's a the point. There are more deer, more turkey, more geese, more bear, more cougar than ever in recorded history. More elk, more pronghorn, more grizzly bears than in over a hundred years. That's food on the hoof. Join us at HunterNation.org to make sure we express our core beliefs to our elected employees. But also go down to your local sporting goods store and get a bow and arrow and a shotgun and a rifle and a pistol. Aim small, miss small, and get ready for the greatest hunting season of your life and tell the supply chain to kiss my ass. You know what, Ted? You mentioned the baby baby formula shortage. Um, sure. On all the shelves in America, there was a shortage, but there wasn't a shortage of baby formula down at the border uh, when we had these illegal invaders coming across. They had baby formula for their uh, for their kids down there. That bothers me. Also, I saw last week right in here in my own home state of Kansas, 10,000 cows were found dead and they said it was because of heat exhaustion. And uh, we went back. We looked at the temperatures. There was no extraordinary heat or humidity to kill 10,000 cows. Again, it's just another pattern of, I believe, a created food shortage. What's your take? Well, when you listen to our, uh, our, our scamming, um, treasonous government officials speak, you can tell that they will side with Ukraine and China before they side with America. So we could get into the gory minutia of some of the manifestations of this abuse of power, like food shortages and, and mysterious death of our food chain. I keep hammering the freedom bell. Huntthevote.org and HunterNation.org. Conservatives and hardworking Americans, especially that middle class power force, we have got to unite. We have got to galvanize people who believe in God, family, country, law and order, constitutional accountability from our elected employees. It's off the charts right now, Keith. And once again, if we sit back and just squawk, they will increase their abuse of power at our our ultimate cost. So the nightly nuge is a truth, logic, and common sense megaphone, but we want people to engage and become more active. You know, one last point I want to make, you mentioned cockroaches. Well, I'm sure you saw this, Ted, and this again happened uh, in my state of Kansas and some other Midwestern states where anti-hunting, uh, anti-eat uh, meat groups, they went into fast food restaurants and put rocks from their backpacks and purses into the toilets to block up the toilets and shut down these restaurants for a period of time. How do we solve that equation? 
All the vegans in the world, all the animal rights scammers in the world have not reduced one chicken death, one pig death, one lamb death, all the veganism in the world, meat production continues to go up because it's protein, it's food. We are omnivores. That's what we eat. The animal rights movement has been one big lie to play on ignorant people's emotions to get money so they can fly private jets to destroy mom and pop businesses. You've got to be kidding me. Who doesn't know this? Now, people on the nightly news do know this, but it Express it to your elected employees that animal rights, the whole thing is a lie. They're not saving one animal. They're enriching themselves while scamming weak people. Unbelievable. You know what? On the topic of scams, Ted, tomorrow night, I want to talk about this gun control scam and what the IRS has been up to to make this ammo shortage even worse. So tomorrow night, come back and we're going to have some more hard hitting Truth, logic, and common sense from none other than Ted Nugent right here on The Nightly Nooch. I'm your truth, logic, common sense daddy. Party with me. (laughs) 